Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, how you been? Uh, today we're doing part eight of my bag collection series, which as you can see in the title is Fendi and I'm so excited to show you guys my little collection. There's not many pieces, but they're like little jewels. They're like jewelry, I love them so much. But first I actually wanted to address uh, something really cool that happened. We have partnered up with a movement. If you guys don't know movement, they are spelled M-V-M-T. They make these gorgeous creations on this video, which is so, so very exciting. I've been a fan of them forever. I picked this guy from their collection. This is the Boulevard Watch in Hollywood. It has a black face and beautiful gold hardware. I'll show you guys a close up right now. And I figured we had to, I love a nice stack, a nice fat stack as we call them, as you can tell. So I was really happy when I saw that they had a beautiful bracelet selection. They also actually make sunglasses. And these are their barbed cuffs, the single barb right here, and the double barbed. They're super, super gorgeous, all in gold. I figured I'd run with the theme and I feel like they're such a great addition to your wrist. I can't stop staring at it in the viewfinder. I wear watches once in a while, but I feel like with a watch like this, it feels a lot more like jewelry, a lot more dainty and beautiful. They also have so many cool different models for women and men, of course, and best part is, drum roll please, they have offered me an incredible discount code for you guys right in time for the holidays if you wanted to shop as well. So if you guys want 15% off the Movement website, I have inserted the link down below in the description box. All you have to do is click it and uh, you'll get that discount at checkout, which is really, really cool. It's 15%, just in case I'll put it here on the screen for you guys. It is mvmt.cc slash conscience dash coupable. And did I forget to mention that they have free worldwide shipping and free returns? I'm just Thing. I'm so grateful to Movement to have partnered up with us on this bag collection video. Uh, I love the pieces so much and I cannot recommend them enough. They feel so luxurious and beautiful, but the price point's really, really affordable. So it's a really great gift or, you know, a gift for yourself. So I highly recommend that you click that link down in the description box. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. So Fendi, let's talk about Fendi a little bit. Uh, the house has been around since the 20s. It was founded by two, well, a lovely Roman couple by the name of Adele and Eduardo. I believe I'm right on that one. And it's I think they're in their third generation with Sylvia right now as creative director. She stepped in in the 90s, I believe, but her mother and all of her sisters were also creative directors right after their parents, which is very cool. Also, of course, our dear friend Carl, who's right, speaking of Carl, come here, Carl. Ah! Oops. He became creative director of Fendi in 65, and uh, he did fur, ready to wear. Fendi has a huge long history with leather and fur goods since its inception. So I love this little guy, little little surprise Peter actually got me, which isn't part of the collection, but I figured, you know. While we're talking about the man himself, I myself uh, felt so fortunate I actually got to meet Sylvia Fendi a few years back. Uh, she's such a lovely, lovely, beautiful woman, and she gifted me her book, which I love, and it's on my coffee table signed. I have it very proudly displayed. So a uh, big fan of the brand with logo Mania making, you know, a huge resurgence in the past, I don't know, two years. Fendi, of course, came back. It was, it never left. They always had beautiful bags, plastic bags like the peekaboo. What am I doing with my hands? <laughs> and the baguette, of course, the omnipresent baguette. But when they reissued and they started doing a lot more logo, like their Zuka print, their iconic Zuka print, the leather goods just came back in a whole new, in a whole new way. So I've always been a fan of the baguette and you're gonna see that uh, that hasn't really changed. So let's get into it. First up, I have this little beauty, little treasure, Literally, it's called the Montrezor bag. And again, the Zuka print. Uh, this is right when they started reissuing pieces with this traditional, they, had, they made it in different colors, but I love the original sort of black and brown coloring. This bag spoke to me right away. I love a bucket shape, especially a little one. I wear my little Mansur Gavriel one all the time. So easy to reach for. And they were sold out everywhere. I was so lucky that Penny from Luxury Next Season was able to get me one. Little top handle, which is really practical. And a long strap as well. This is a great sort of, I don't wanna say theme park bag, cause that kind of, but I wore it to festivals. I've worn it to <laughs> Vegas pool parties. Um, one, one, that's how often I go. And yeah, it's such a great piece. This is something that will never, I think, go out of style. When you get an iconic monogram piece like this, uh, you don't really want to part with it. And I feel truly, I really feel that way about this one. So little Montrezal bucket bag, a little adorable, little cutie with silver hardware. I was wearing my glasses originally, but I feel like, can you see the viewfinder in them? Yeah, so I took them off, but. Now I feel like I don't, I can't see his wheel. Next up, speaking of the illustrious baguette, uh, I remember when my mother growing up received one as a gift from family friends. It was sequined, it was turquoise, it was incredible. And I remember her like, that was a very, very big deal of receiving one. So when I uh, came around to getting my own, 
it was also kind of a momentous occasion. Ah! Uh, so when they reissued, they reissued in three sizes, the mini, the traditional normal size, and this big girl, the large. I spent, I kid you not, two weeks going back and forth to different Fendi stores trying to figure out which was the best fit for me. There wasn't that many available at the time because they were kind of selling out everywhere. Which color I wanted, they had turquoise, pink, black, white, and this sort of vanilla pudding yellowy color. Listen, the struggle, I'm not an indecisive person usually. Well, that's not true. <laughs> we're all a little indecisive, but when I see something I love, usually I don't have much hesitation. But this, oh my God, Peter could have killed me. I swear, we went to Fendi like twice a day for a week. I, and the people, this poor essays must have wanted to kill me too. Anyways, I ended up with the large size, which I love. It was something new and different and that I love wearing a cross body, especially with like longer dresses in the summertime. It adds a little punch and also you can wear it as a big clutch, which I think is very, very handy for like evening. It has a little top handle over here. Also, I should mention that this, the feeling of this guy is unlike any other bag I own. It is so soft and buttery and pillowy. It reminds me of the Chanel cocoon bags. You know what I'm talking about? It also comes with a little shoulder strap, crossbody strap, which I find very useful, as I said. I think it looks super cute crossbody. And I, I'm a sucker for a white bag. I keep saying it. It's true. I just got a new white bag that we won't discuss right now, but I don't think you could have too many. It's what I reach for the most. So, so happy to have an iconic beauty like uh, the baguette in my collection. They've released so many great ones since though. So it was very tempting, but I'm happy with my choice. And here she is in the white or cream. I don't know what they call this color, but it's, it's the white one. And finally, last but not least, I know we're at the end of this one already. My Fendi collection is precious. It's not, it's not huge, but it's very, very special pieces. And this one especially has a warm little spot in my heart. <laughs> I never owned a peekaboo. I never found one that kind of particularly spoke to me until this bad boy stepped into my life. Uh, this is, what size is it? The small, cause the mini, or that's micro. This is mini. You can sound sound off in the comments down below at uh, how illiterate I am in the Fendi size language. It is this sort of mauve and nude color. They issued this exact bag with the rhinestone stars, which, oh, by the way, and the red, the white, the black, and of course, this nude color. I had no bags at all. This color it is very, very specific. It looks great sort of in the summertime with, again, florals. And it's such a statement. I don't have many neutral bags. I'm not like a very warm tone dresser. So I was so happy to add this one to my collection. It is literally a jewel. It is jewelry. I love just staring at it. I don't take her out often enough, probably because I'm a little nervous. Um, Peekaboos are quite pricey, I find. It's, I mean, it's their, it's their Lady Dior. It's their flat bag, so it makes sense. But I don't know. I have a very hard time justifying taking her out and risking all of this expensive beauty. <laughs> You know what I mean? I feel like everyone has those bags that they're a little bit more cautious of. This is one of them for me. And it was a gift, which I was so excited. Well, it was a gift. That's another long story that I don't know if I should get into. It was a, a gift that I exchanged. I know I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible, terrible human, but I mean, come on, wouldn't you have? I originally received, um, the, lar the slightly larger size with the utility, utility? Yeah, like the utility belt pockets in the front for the phone and your secrets, you know what I'm talking about? And I figured this was a better long lasting piece, a little less of the moment, if you will. And you know, your girls, your girls a sucker for the, the bling and the glitter. So I was so happy to add this little beauty to the collection and those little stars. Oof they get to me. And thus concludes part eight of our bag collection series. Can you believe it? I can't. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've been here for all eight parts, I salute you. <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you know when part nine comes out. Uh, it will be soon. I am very excited. And again, a big thank you to our partners, our collaborators, Movement, MVMT, for being part of this video. I think uh, them and Fendi make a pretty brilliant match, if you ask me, no? Gold hardware on gold hardware. Ooh, that's cute. Uh, I can't recommend them enough, honestly. They're, they're so lovely. And the pieces are gosh damn gorgeous. So also don't forget to sound off in the comments to let me know which luxury brand or house you'd like me to cover next. And thumbs up if you liked it. And I think that's it, right? I covered all my bases. Anyways, guys, have a great rest of the day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye. Babe, I'm done.